Good morning from the National Weather Service office in Gaylord, Michigan. Welcome to the latest hazardous weather briefing for eastern, upper, and northern lower Michigan. Today is Wednesday, July 17th, 2013. As we take a look at the hazard weather highlights, we do have the hot and humid heat indices that will continue uh, across the entire part of northern Michigan, and that'll continue through Thursday. And remember, the impacts of this are just the potential for heat stroke and heat exhaustion while you're out underneath the hot sun in this very humid air. Otherwise, our developing story that we've been talking about the last couple of days is the thunderstorms and some of those are going to start this afternoon and we will probably see thunderstorms off and on through Friday evening. The main impacts though uh, uh, tonight into Thursday morning will be the heavy rainfall. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit and then also the potentially damaging winds uh, which are going to be more likely for Thursday night into Friday. Um, and then a little bit into Friday as the front actually swings through. Friday evening looks like most of this should be done by that time. We'll just be on the back end of all the thunderstorms by then. Okay, so we'll take a look at the weather maps across the region. We do have an area of, of low pressure just off to our west with the uh, cold front that you see back up there into going into Hudson Bay. And the high has still been sitting over us with just a weak, low-pressure trough over our region. That's going to continue here. It's probably going to kick off some more thunderstorms here, especially as we get into tonight. You can see that front is starting to lay out across the whole area. And this is one of the issues that we have. You notice that those, um, the area, the green area there, the chances for showers and thunderstorms is going to sit over that area. And that is where our potential comes from with that front kind of stalled in that area that we're going to have thunderstorms that are just going to run across the front and so we have the potential for some pretty heavy rains later on especially as we get into the upper peninsula overnight tonight and into Thursday morning as we get into Thursday evening that front's still sitting there um, but the jet stream is actually going to start moving down a little bit farther south we're going to get some better winds aloft and you see that cold front just off to the north there. That's going to help to reinforce all this. And that's going to be able to get us our thunderstorms kicked up a notch so that we could see some uh, thunderstorms of potentially damaging winds. Then by Saturday morning, you know, for Friday we have the whole thing moving through. And then by Saturday morning then the high pressure starts to build into the upper Great Lakes. And we should see pretty pleasant weather. Uh, it'll be sunny, temperatures in the mid-70s for Saturday and Sunday. As we're talking about, uh, if we take a look at the three-day precipitation forecast, which basically goes from today through Friday afternoon, evening, you see that we're getting into the two-inch range and a couple of those bullseyes there in the upper peninsula. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this, but this the main concern is for tonight into Thursday. Of course, we're going to still have... Thursday and Thursday night with the damaging winds, but we still could have some uh, heavy rain as well during that time period, although it's more likely the heavy rains are tonight. As we take a look at the severe weather probabilities uh, that the Storm Prediction Center put out this morning, you can see that it's a pretty small chances there, like 5% that stretches right along the Canadian border for damaging winds and for hail that gets out across the Upper Peninsula. And so we don't have a whole lot, as I said, for severe weather tonight. Uh, they are a small chance, but not, not nearly as what we would consider. Uh, it's tomorrow, the Thursday and Thursday night time period, we get into the slight risk there, which um, gives us a little bit better chance for those uh, damaging winds. Uh, things are starting to set up pretty well that, we, that that is a possibility. So if this continues on with the, what the models have been advertising, we could have some uh, issues here coming up, especially Thursday night. So we'll sum this all up with what the forecast is. We have hot and humid, and this will continue on through Thursday. The showers and storm chances will be tonight through Friday. We have severe storms possible, and uh, as I've been saying, especially Thursday night, uh, Thursday, Thursday night into Friday. And just watch out. The main thing, though, for today is the heat indices ranging primarily between 95 and 100 at times uh, during the afternoon hours 
especially across northern lower Michigan where we have our temperatures basically getting into the lower to mid 90s across the region. So that would be the, the big thing. Again, heavy rain tonight into Thursday and then we look at Thursday and into Friday for severe weather possible across the region. This concludes this morning's Hazardous Weather Briefing. Thanks for listening in. If you have more questions or would like more information, you can always visit our webpage at weather.gov slash Gaylord or ask us questions at Facebook or on Twitter. You can also view this briefing as well as the previous briefings on YouTube as well as also take a virtual tour of the office. Thanks for listening and have a great day.